The most powerful conversation that you need to have is with this person, and it's not who you think it is. You know that this right here forever, 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 forever. and there will be no surrender. This right here forever, 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 forever. We listen to podcasts. We read books. You watch videos. I watch videos. We all watch videos. And here's the thing. So many times we are told to go have conversations with people. You need to go have a conversation with them. You want, to, you want sales? Go have a conversation with them. But there's one conversation which trumps all the conversations. It is the conversation that changes everything. It's the conversation that takes information into implementation to transformation. It is the conversation that breathes inspiration. I feel like a rapper right now. But it really is the conversation that changes the game. What is that conversation? It's this. It is the conversation that you have with yourself about who you believe you are. Let me say this again. The most powerful conversation that you need to have is the one that you have with yourself about who you believe that you are. Growing up, right, you could see my dark brown chocolate smooth skin. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I had these visions of playing football. Now, I would step onto the football field, right? And as a football player, I would dominate. I would rip your face off. I could dominate you and eat you for lunch. I was a quarterback killer, sack machine. Man, I was good. And then I would step off the football field, take my helmet and pads off, put on my backpack, and walk to school, and walk around and get around other people, and. Sometimes I was a little nervous what they thought about me and it was weird. On the football field, I had a conversation like I was the man. In the business world, I would become timid. Why? Because the conversation I was having about who I am, who I was, who I believed I was, right, they were inconsistent. And here's something I want you to write down. The story you believe the most about yourself is the story that you tell the most about yourself. Let me say that again, right? This is one of our fundamental laws. I'm gonna share just one of them. The story you believe the most about who you are is the story that you tell the most about who you believe you are. And what does this mean? If I walk around every single day saying things like, I'm not that good, I wish I had this, uh, I'm not that competent. Oh man, I wish I had more leadership. Oh man, why, am, why, why is my skin brown? What do people think about brown people? I'm not that good. Like if I roll that story on loop all the time, that becomes the truth. And I behave according to what I believe is true. So the most powerful conversation you can have is to shift that conversation about who you believe you are and start declaring a new powerful story about who you are. TB12, Tom Brady, right? The GOAT of GOATs. The greatest quarterback of all time. Come on, now you know that I know that. Now, even if you don't, Tom Brady doesn't walk into the field thinking and speaking to himself, I wonder if I belong. I wonder if I'm good enough. Neither does Serena Williams, and neither do any other high-performing athletes, especially entrepreneurs and business owners. Look, if you're going to succeed as a father, mother, spouse, business owner at a high level, you've got to start telling different stories about who you are. In other words, you've got to start having those conversations with you that you are worth it and you are powerful. Now, yeah, your actions have to back that up. So if I say I am powerful, my actions better show that I am what? Powerful. Don't be the person that says, I'm a healthy vegetable eating, running, lifting, weighting, lifting machine, and then go stuff your face with a bunch of garbage. That's like that. There's no integrity there. And this conversation is what changed my life. I'll tell you this if you're struggling right now to level up and you're doing all the things right, there's a good chance right now who you believe you are is not who you need to believe that you, you are. In other words, you gotta change the story about who you are, that you are powerful, that you are worth it, that people do want to hear your message, that you actually can lead your team, that you actually are capable and committed. What's the greatest story you can begin to tell yourself? That you are, that you're enough.
let your actions align with those declarations, then go to work. Once you have that powerful conversation with yourself, look, it's not one conversation. You're gonna have that conversation with yourself every single day. I do it every single day. I do this every single day. I create myself powerfully every single day. Once you start to do that, you know what the next conversation I wanna have? I wanna have that conversation with you. Let's have a conversation about what would be possible if you began to see yourself differently, you began to develop skills differently because you saw yourself and felt about yourself differently. Click on the link below. Let's have a conversation. More importantly, have the conversation with yourself about who you need to be so you can go get your dreams, go be the family person you wanna be, go be the business owner you wanna be. Of course, tag a friend who you believe this could really help Share this on, click the link, let's have a conversation. I can't wait to see the new version of you. Oh yeah.